There it is. We're on. It is happening. I don't know if you can hear me. I still haven't figured out how to do this. <laughs> oh, wait. Let me turn it up a little. Oh, yeah. There you, there you go. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to I Know You Love Us, the cool show. What is up, party people? Ow, man, I don't need the abuse. I don't need it. <laughs> how are you people today? We are talking about how to build an app or make an app or get an app for super cheap. Super cheap, all caps right there. That's how I know it's gonna be because I wrote that. And it says super cheap everywhere, everywhere. So that is the topic. Do you, uh, you're not a big fan of the apps. I love apps. You do not. I hate you apps. You are a liar. <laughs> do you or do you not love the apps? I don't know. Which you one are know. we talking about? All of them. Do you nope. like apps or not? No. No. Why not? I don't know. Does it just seem like it's just taking up space? Too much work. Which part? The downloading? The pushing? Yeah. All that. Like, oh my God, I had to download it. Uh-huh. Then I had to like sync it to my Facebook. Ugh. I gotta push that button. Yeah. And then, 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 is it like just an obligation? Do you feel like it's an obligation? I don't like obligations. You feel that? Uh, <laughs> I love apps. Mm -hmm. I see them as little presents. Mm. My friend Jamie just got me an app. Got me this app on uh, meditation. It was an app like uh, what is it called? Positivity. Mm. I think he probably, I think he read my blog post. I was feeling a little bummed out for some odd reason. I don't feel bummed out anymore. Maybe I'd awesome. like them better if somebody would give them to me. Nobody gives them to me. Well, dude, I would give you an app. I would send you app presents every once in a while, but I just assumed you don't like apps. Well, it depends on what the app is. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, all right. Well, we'll see then. Okay. Maybe I will then. I thought you just were, had some sort of like, uh, you know, strange aversion to I'm a, all apps. I'm a purist. A purist. Or I, I keep did my watch, phone as pure as the day I got it. Like a driven snow, like mm -hmm. a virgin from the Apple store. Yep. Um, I tried to get you on the app Slack. You never downloaded that. That one didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but you got me into Group Me. Yeah. And uh, now I'm trying to get other people into it. And yep. they're like, eh. Yeah, I turned the notifications off. You did as soon as I got on it. It was just too much. <laughs> too much. What three or four notifications? You're like, holy ah, crap! That's a lot. What is going on uh, in the world? I don't need yeah, that well, much notice. I, I, that's a good point. I don't. Yeah, I'm sorry. About I wanted that. like a daily digest or something. You're the kind of guy that likes to look at every single Twitter post, right? Yeah. Like if you if you follow somebody, I usually read their stuff. You you that's pretty awesome. It, if, if it's them. Sounds lame. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's fine. It makes me but feel stalkerish. It makes, it makes me understand why you can't have apps yeah. in your life well, because it's too oppressive because you have to read everything that comes upon it. That's what it is. So, I mean, that would suck. I could, I could, feel, I could feel the pain on that. That would be like, you know, that would be uh, annoying. I always see apps as just... Um, a, a stream that I just like am running through, like I just step into and when it's there, it's there. And if I, I, you know, and so I just take it for what it is, uh -huh. you know? Um, but today I thought we would talk about apps for people's businesses. Oh, my favorite. Yeah. 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 Um, Oh, Tam, Tammy, Tam, Tama, Tama, Tama jewels, Tama jewels. Enjoyed the Squarespace episode. Very important. Mr. Sage, my main go-to man. I am awesome. Says Tama Jules. What up, Tama Jules? Thank you, Tama. You're awesome, too. We're all awesome. This is the awesome, awesome hour or ha awesome half hour. It's practically half over. I'm so glad you like it. Yeah, just incidentally, there is, uh, you know, Tama, Tama Jules. <laughs> I will show you here briefly. If you go down here, do you see underneath the show right here where it says Sa free Sadrock classes? And you click on that. It will take you to the Sadrock members area where you can sign up for free courses. And I'm going to be putting all of the Squarespace uh, tutorials right here in the free area. So if you don't have a website and you want a beautiful one and you're a little intimidated by setting up your own website, why don't you 
get involved with the uh, Squarespace course that we're doing. So thank you, Tama Jewels. That's awesome of you to be so nice. Um, do you think businesses should have an app? What do you think? Depends. Okay, great. On, on, on what? Whether they should have an app or not. Perfect. <laughs> we could do this probably conversation for the next 40 minutes. So. I'm game. What do you think they should have an app? Don't say it. Give me a, give me, give me another option. Another I, option. Okay. <laughs> it depends. Okay. I'll Does give you another okay, option. Okay. Yes. Do you think businesses should have an app? It depends. <laughs> It depends what, on what. What does it depend on? I mean, whether or not they should have an app. <laughs> I'm going to go with it depends on the kind of business they are. Oh. How about that? So what kind of business gets an app? Restaurant. A restaurant needs an app. Yeah, I think so. It could. Especially like, so I, 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 use, I use two restaurant apps a lot. Uh-huh. Taco Bell mm -hmm. and Domino's. Mm-hmm. So I actually don't like... How's that like, diet going? It's going great. It's great if you only eat one meal a day. Oh, good. 24 hour, I'm doing the, what they're calling the intermittent fasting diet, where I only eat one meal a day. Every 24 hours, I get a meal. Mm. And it can be pretty much anything. Right on. It's pretty, it works out okay. So I like, um, I, I like ordering my Taco Bell mm -hmm. on the app. Already mm -hmm. has my credit card in it. Mm -hmm. I order it, and then they're like, when you get to the restaurant, tell me if you are in the uh, drive-thru or you're going to come in the window mm -hmm. or come in. Mm -hmm. Press that button. It automatically goes into their computer, mm -hmm. and I just stand there patiently, and they're like, Sage, your order's here, and they hand it to me. Wow. I love it. And then Domino's has all my previous pizza orders. Mm -hmm. I just, and then I do it. And then the Domino's one even tells me, like it gives me this funny little graph that shows me like when they're leaving. When, like it, I can follow the process of my pizza. Like, we ordered it. They're making it. It's in the oven. We're boxing it. It's in the car. Hmm. And it's amazing because then I, I start looking out the window. That's pretty good. When it's, uh, you know, mm -hmm. awesome. It's on the way. I love it. I love that. Um, so now, actually, I will, I'll, I'll mention this. Uh, we have uh, Mark Lichty, who runs uh, this company, Open App Marketing who makes apps for small business, he was just saying that his, he now has the ability to sync in with the MLS for realtors. Nice. So if you're a realtor, your app, I'm imagining, would have access to all the listings in the multiple listing system. Cool. Or maybe just your listing, I don't even know. I just heard, just rumor, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so, and you can see here, like, you know, what, kinds of things build you know brand loyalty go mobile mobile be local local customers who are go uh we're on the go are more likely to engage with brands that are localized so and then you can see here here's some ideas da bands and djs churches drama clubs fitness lawyers nonprofits, orthodontists realtors restaurants salons schools and yes you guessed it sports clubs so a lot of people mm -hmm. i think it comes down to the fact that maybe if you were into the idea, almost any business could use this mm -hmm. because what you can do is you can send them little notifications, what they call push notifications. You mm -hmm. can push, push a notification right out. So you can be like, hey, I just uploaded a new video. Hey, I just uploaded a new blog post. Yeah. Hey, we have a new event. That's when you remove the app. That's I get rid yeah. of it. <laughs> no, but I love that. Most people, I think, love that. Oh. That, for you, seems like just hell. endless hell. Yes. I think most people are not like that. Yeah. I think most people are like, oh, a little present. I wonder what this is. Yeah, most people suck. That's true. <laughs> or maybe it's you. I don't, you know. Not uh, no, as likely. Not likely. But, uh, no, no. It no. is possible. No. Uh, you're just, they don't suck. They just think differently than you. Different people think differently. Uh, that's that the definition. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> Good point. Good point. You're a detail guy. All the details are overwhelming, probably. I would imagine. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, that's maybe a problem. You know, one of the other things is causing the issue. But I think that if your customers would download your app, Oh, how about this? Uh, my favorite sub shop does not have an app, but they allowed me to sign up for a uh, text coupon. Love it. Hmm. Love it. Because then they're like, hey, tell, uh, just show us this text and you'll get a dollar off your sub. You, you got like a, a food 
thing going on I here. I haven't eaten in about 20 hours. <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. All yeah. right. Well, um, yeah, it's true. I have a th- yes, I do have a food thing. I have problems with ingesting all sorts of things. Um, so I think that you could make a case for anybody that wants to be remembered, Mm -hmm. that anybody that wants to be in people's mind, like, Hey, don't forget me. I'm over here. Mm -hmm. They could use maybe an app. And so I thought maybe we could talk about how to get an app. Uh, let's not do that. (laughs) The show's over. Good luck people. Um, so let me start actually on the high end on the custom design front. Uh, there's a lot of custom developers out there Mm -hmm. and I know a guy who is a custom developer and he was at our meetup uh, a couple weeks ago and he was talking about making custom apps and we were basically like, all right, that sounds so awesome. What's that going to cost? And he's like, "Ah, anywhere between 30 and a hundred thousand dollars. And we were like, do you have anything cheaper? He's like, you could do a podcast. And I'm like, yeah, I guess. But there's other there's other solutions. Now I asked him about these other solutions, and he's like, "They suck." And because he does the ones that cost thirty thousand dollars. Well, that was my instinct. <laughs> but and but you know what? Are they going to be as good as his? No, no, they're not going to be as good as his. But are they going to be something that like would be at least maybe even a, a step to test out? whether you like the idea of having an app of what you could actually maybe use in a, in a custom built app down the road. Mm-hmm. I don't <laughs> think custom apps have to cost $30,000. No, they don't. I mean, but several thousand. Yeah. I would say I, the last I heard like, you know, entry level is probably five, three, four, five thousand $5,000. Does that mm-hmm. sound reasonable? Yeah, probably depending on what you want to do. Maybe. Right. Right. Um, so, but here, this is an article you, um, sent over Greg for, you know, to tell the people. And, uh, this is really cool. This is from life hacker. I want to write iOS apps. Where do I start? So this is the first thing you could do is you could learn how to build an app. It's very doable. Um, and in fact, I have a, I know a guy that is, um, where did the show go? Where's like the comments? Did I lose them? them I moved them. Oh yeah. Thanks. Uh, here, I'll put the link in here for the, uh, this article. Oh, Pam is here. What up, Pam? This looks like something I tried. I could not figure it out though. Which service is this? Ah, okay. I'll show you Pam in one second. Um, so I had a friend who's a, um, a developer, a coder and, and he's, and I was talking about learning a language. Like I'm like, "Ah, I'm thinking about learning Spanish. Cause I can go to Mexico and talk Spanish and go to the restaurant and talk the Spanish. And he's like, dude, don't do that. He's like, and in fact, just last night I saw that Skype now has an instant translator. You speak into Skype and Skype speaks out what you said in the language of the other person. Mm-hmm. You're not going to need to learn anybody else's language. It's all going to be translated. Like the tools are just going to translate so for you. You just opted for like laziness. Yeah, I'm like good, good news. I can say taco. I mean, you don't think like learning a new language would be beneficial to you? Well, what he said was, why don't you learn a programming language? Yeah, that's cool. Pro because a programming language, yeah, same thing. He's like a programming language is uh, universal. You could make an app that anyone in the world could potentially enjoy. Mm-hmm. Or make a program or whatever. True. And uh, so I did start taking some classes. But you can't go to Mexico. I could send them my app. You could send them your app. <laughs> I could just run around. Yeah, that's true. Um, Hola, here yeah. is my Apo. Apo, yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's not racist. So I uh, just add O on everything. Apo, is that what they call them? Apos? That's not Apos, racist. Apos, gatos, doggo. It's just how people Canto. don't know how to speak the language, say it. Just add an O. <laughs> add an O. That's wrong, but... <laughs> It's funny. I don't know if it's racist or not, but anyways. Um, oh, Pam has an Apple look. Well, I'll look at that. So here, so this article walks you through it and it says, all right, you're going to have to learn some Xcode, some Swift, some iOS DS, SDKs and so forth. Um, I would say that this is not an approach for the weak need. Um, 
I would say that if you were serious about it, you could definitely learn it. Um, then here, like this person then contributed and said, you know, check out the big nerd books. So these are books that um, can teach you how to do programming, which is pretty awesome. So here I'll put the link there. Uh, and then, uh, then this person said, one other thing I wanted to say. I, this person said, I recommend, ugh, where'd it go? I'd recommend you becoming a paying member of the iOS developer program, $99 a year. You get access to more tools and resources and you'll need it anyway when you go to publish your app. So that was a good point. Um, and so, you know, those are some good ideas. On the same front, I have, uh, I bought a course over at Udemy and here I'll give you the link to that. I bought uh, the complete iOS 8 and Swift course, okay? So this course here says, what does it say? It says, um, from beginner to advanced mobile developer in six weeks. So I haven't actually started this course yet, but um, people tell me it's awesome. Why not? And I got it for super cheap. I get it, like, the reason I bought it was they were like, every course is $10, mm -hmm. and it's, I think it's a $200 course. I will tell you this, that I just got a coupon code for Udemy that I will share here. If you put this coupon code, 5050INSPIRE, every course is 50% off right now at, at Udemy cool. with that, that code. Cool. So this could be a, you know, if you like the idea, I do believe you need to be on a Mac, I think. I've heard conflicting things, but I think if you're going to develop iOS, you got to be, you got to have a Mac. Not if you're on Android. Then you would be not developing for iOS. But you could be developing for Android. Like if you're developing for Android. Yes. Then you could be on anything. Oh, that's true. Yeah. If, but that's, that's, that's Android. iOS is. Apple. Apple. Yeah. Right. If you're going to. We're just right. talking about an app. An app. Not you're right. necessarily you're right. an if, Apple app. Thank you. Very good point. So if you're doing, if you're doing an Android app, you know, for sure you can download it all and do it all on, on a uh, PC. Mm -hmm. So that would be good. So there is the. Nerdy way. Of the doing nerdy it. become an app developer approach. I would say six weeks is not probably realistic. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I mean, if you're really grinding it out. But, sure. you know, it's going to be a lot of learning. Mm -hmm. um, and depending on where you're starting from, you know, more or less disorienting. But I would say doable. The thing about developing programming is it does not require you to be a genius. It just requires you to learn it. Mm -hmm. um, and your head will ache. It will ache. Uh, because you will be learning new painful things. But it, everyone can do it. Mr. V is here, just getting here. Did you cover uh, over when building apps? Did you build for all OS or iOS? And uh, are you stuck in iOS only? Ah. ah, good point. So what we have been talking about here is all iOS, all Apple. Mm -hmm. So this is a reason why I think sometimes yeah, maybe yeah. you don't want an app. Because of the cross-platform annoyingness. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's and, true. You know, you gotta keep updating them and each one, and and so, like we actually for one of our clients built a custom app. Yeah. And big, long, involved process, yep. and they wanted it, and it was like you know it was built specifically for the iPad. Yeah. And we're yeah, not even iPhone, just iPad. No, just iPad, and it works. Great, it yeah. does everything that they want it to do, but it doesn't work on Android. Yeah. And it doesn't work on their iPhone. Nope. And it won't work on a computer. Nope. And so they ended up being like, well, we don't want to have to pay to have these developed on all these different platforms. Yeah. Maybe we can just build it in HTML5. Yep. And then it'll work on any browser. Yep. And so that's an and option. And they did it and it came out really nice. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. There's two potential reasons, or BlackBerry, what? He's from Canada. He's from Canada. They love the BlackBerry yep, up there. Yep. That's good for you, Mr. V. You stick with that BlackBerry. That thing is hot. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'll never forget being in Toronto on the train 
It, the whole train, they were all on blackberries. It was so amazing. Anyways, um, I think they might have outlawed iPhones up there. Maybe. <laughs> I think I read that. Um, there's two problems mm -hmm. with doing an, I, an HTML5 web-based app, I think. Mm -hmm. First is the native platform, as they say in the business, mm -hmm. offers more features than is Good. available in HTML5. It does. Uh, like, there's I don't no, know, like, if you can upload a picture, for example, in HTML5. There's no, uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you know, right? So, um, so let's see, native. There's no notifications. Versus... You're requiring people to use the browser. Yeah, um, yeah. You're not going to be in the app store. That's right, um, yeah. Yeah, that's right. So... So this is an article here. Developing a mobile app as you are well aware. Here, let me see if I can zoom this in. Is that a good idea? No, that, what happened? Why know. am I floating on the left? Oh, sorry. What's going on? Never mind. Don't you worry. That was a mistake. Uh, okay, so here, actually, let me move this over just a little bit here. It says, uh, developing a mobile app as you are well aware involves elaborate planning. It starts from an app. The idea goes to app development testing. You have to decide. Here we have two options to You can develop a native app or a web app. What are native apps and the pros and cons of native? Okay. A native app is developed. You got it, right? Uh, comparison. In order to know which type is better, uh, you need to compare. User interface, app development process, accessibility. Here, I'll just give you this whole link if you're like, I don't know which one to do. Ah, hey, Mark Lichty is here. What up, Mark? There are tools that can make your app for cross-platform use. Ah, that's a good point. HTML5, Mr. V says the answer, especially since he's a BlackBerry lover. <laughs> so, yes, of course, yes. It is a great, um, I, you know, so efficient. You gotta decide what you want your app to do. That's right? true. I mean, what's the purpose of it? That's a very, very good point. Um, our programs have used, oh, nice. So, oh, you can check that out. Apache Cordova. So I'm imagining Apache Cordova is a, a thing that migrates from one native app to another. Oh, this Mark is, guy sounds like he doesn't know anything. I know, I know. <laughs> no, he's the guy that owns the the open app. I know. He's I was over kidding. there. I know. I know. I just wanted to let him know. It's so funny. He's like literally about ten feet away, but he's just watching the show. He won't even talk to us. Anyways, that's okay. It's funny that there's way. only two yeah. mics. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, I don't know why we would have like an app expert on the show. That, that would, would be, be stupid. stupid. Yeah. That would be stupid. So at any rate. <laughs> or useful. I'm not sure yeah. if those are the same things or not. Useful and stupid? Yeah, both the same. Um, yes. So now here is uh, an article is that um, this article is showing you 10 different platforms for building mobile apps. So what these are, are places where you can build your own app, okay? And, um, and I've used a couple of these, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to Appy Pie, okay? I'm have you ever to, used that one before? I have, really? I have, a little bit. Why did you go to Appy Pie? Because I've been hearing a lot about Appy Pie recently. I don't know why. I don't know why I've been hearing about Appy Pie, but it's cute. I mean, look at it. Wait, log in, there we go. Okay, so um, here it says, my apps and mobile sites manage, uh, speak on the fact that if you use HTML5, then you are less worried about OS updates causing the current app to fail and having to get back to Apple's update queue. It's a very good point. I mean, you have to keep that sucker updated and people have to update them. The updating is probably the most terrible part, like the, 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 where a, a native app can go wrong. Mm -hmm. a, an HTML5 web-based app, is always updated because you're updating one place and they update it. Now, the, the, I will say another downside to an HTML5 web-based app is it doesn't easily just end up on your um, phone screen, mm -hmm. you know, like, like every other app. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, uh, you can add bookmarks mm -hmm. to your screen. Yep. So that can solve that problem. But walking people through that process is not going to yeah. be 
the same as just like download my app. Down, right. And I don't know that you can do a push notification. You cannot. Right. So you can't, you can't send somebody. <laughs> An update. You can't send like, hey, don't forget this. Right. So, you know, you can't get that little annoying little one sign. One, two. Right. Like, you know, that probably crushes your spirit. Like, I have to open that app because there's something in it. Well, okay. So, look, I got a Craigslist app. Yeah, okay. On my iPad. Yeah. And there's no way to turn off notifications for it. Like, that's just not a setting for it. Interesting. And every three or four days, it just pops up and is like, did you know that people posted things on Craigslist? And I'm like, really? Really? That's not helpful. <laughs> of course they did. They always, it's Craigslist. I don't need that. <laughs> Mr. V says it's super easy to add a bookmark to his home screen. On, <laughs> that's because he doesn't have any other apps. I mean, those are the only kind of apps he can use. I'm sure he has, there must be no, a Facebook of app. Of course. On, I can't remember. On Blackberry? It's been a while since I've had a Blackberry. I know, we should get one. Um, okay, so here, look, I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna make an app right here on Appy App, Apple Pie. Test app, okay, and then it's, um, select the type business. Uh, my logo, here, I can upload a logo, or I can choose from a library. Here, I'll just pick that, cards, cards. That's what I'll do. Background, choose from a library. Let me get this lady, she looks businessy. Let's do navigation, uh, bottom thing. Let's do a picture. Okay, here, I'll make it orange because who doesn't like orange? With uh, App name already exists. Come on, who could have possibly named their app test? Fine. Testy McTester 10. I bet nobody named their app that. Happy pie. Hmm. Okay, now, here you go. So there, look at there. Look or, at order this Russian bride now. I know, I'm going to start a Russian. I'm so glad you knew that was the business I was getting into. That's good. We can add a quiz. Look, we'll have a quiz. We'll say name your quiz. Uh, name this Russian bride. Wait, we'll capitalize it. Okay. Yeah, show some respect. Come on, so. respect, people. Respect. Do you want to display login after the... I don't know. I don't know. No. Quiz settings. What do I do now? All right. Now what? Uh, I, scroll down. Okay. Save and continue? Save and continue. Maybe that. Okay. Error! Germany! Choose from the following pages. Do you want to... What pages? So this is going swimmingly. I wanted to show him how easy Happy Pie was. I don't know. Name my quiz. Oh, wait. How about this? Name this bride. There you go. That'll be even funnier. Special characters are not allowed. Did Mr. V just text me. Probably. He's probably like, stop making fun of the, <laughs> the Canadians. That's how I got my wife. <laughs> Here. We'll save and edit later. How I got my wife. <laughs> Russian bride <laughs> apps are legit. <laughs> All right. Uh, resume editing. I don't know how to do this, people. I don't know anything. That's not apparent. <laughs> I was gonna show you. Okay, forget it. Let's let's screw Happy Pie. That thing sucks. I'm just kidding. It's fine. Here, I want to show you another one. Way easier. Let's use. Damn it. Where'd it go? Where is it? Hold on. I have another one. Not Happy Pie. That one sucks. Just kidding. App Maker. This one is the secret to life right here. <laughs> this one right here going to rock your world, mm. party people. Get started. Uh, okay, fine. Testy McTesterton. Get started. Yeah. I feel it. I feel the power. The machine. Just one step away, I will sign in with Papa blocked. Come on, come on, always allow it, man. Always sign in, yo. Sign in. Oh my god. Oh, wait, wait, Greg. What? Wait. I already have an app. What? I do. There it is. The Moby app right there. There it is. The live show. Uh huh. Past shows. Uh huh. There you go. I past shows. Right. Does it have anything? It could have. It could have had a pass show if I put them in there. 
How about live chat? Live chat, you can live chat with us. There, you could do that. Uh, you can How call am I going to chat with them? I didn't even know this existed. I know. There, look. Oh, look. Videos. Our videos. They're right here. Oh, very nice. And then I can click on it, and then it opens up into YouTube. So, uh, so there you go. There you go. Look at there. Newsletter. I could sign up for my newsletter right there. Right there. See there. See there. Mm -hmm. See right in there. I do. It's pretty nice, right? I could, you could call us. Look. Call. Do it. Make the phone ring. I'm going <laughs> to do it. All right. Here. Didn't that work. didn't do it. Damn it. Do nothing. Oh, wait. Launch application. What? What's happening? Oh, God. Never mind. I think... We're going to go into a black hole oh, of need. Skype. Oh, my God. Skype. No, thank you. Anyways, uh, here, let me, let me, uh, let's do, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can show you how I did that. I can't show you how I did that. <laughs> okay. Wait, let's create a new app really quick. Okay. Then we got to go. Let's get start. I know, lady. I get it. I get it. She's always helping. She's too helpful. I'm good with you, lady. I'm good. Stop popping up the windows. I'm good with that too. I was saying it was Testy McTester10. Okay. Spelled McTesterton wrong. How do you know? <laughs> do you know Testy? What do you know his name is? Okay. Uh, oh my God, my kid's writing me. Oh, that's nice. And then I can do my, oh look, my blog. I can do my blog. And then my Twitter name, Shade Rock, next step. There we go, next step. Look at that, look at that. Okay, now, and then look, all the things that I can add. See, I can do an event. I can do sports. I can use, I can make books or something, docs. How much does this feed. cost? Ah, does price even matter, Greg? Does it even matter? Uh, it said super cheap in the title of the show. Oh, yeah, on, that's so I just right. wondered how much it was. I forget. Let me find out. App maker cost. I'm going to find that right out for you. App, app maker cost. Uh, app maker. Pricing. Pricing. Let's show you. And then we got to go. We're way. Okay, there it is. $9 a month. App Pro. So here, check it, check it, check it. The best value says get a native iPhone, Android plus HTML5 app for all the Blackberry lovers. Then you get the mobile, submit your app to iTunes and Google Play. You get the I, the HTML5 mobile website, unlimited users, unlimited ad, oh, ads ever. Publish under your own brand, charge for the app, live stats, no contract, priority live chat. Damn, son. Blow your mind up, don't it? Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of words. I haven't ever actually finished making one, but I'm thinking about it. Mm. I'm thinking about trying mm -hmm. and seeing if it's any good. Mm. Because there's no mm. contract. What's I mean, so I do my nine bucks, and if it sucks, then I'll be like, well, there, I lost my nine bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, which is not unusual for me. Mm. I lose more money. <laughs> I lose money like <laughs> it's going out of style. Like, I don't even like money. Um, cheap and includes HTML5. My man, Mr. V, gets hooked up. He knows the power of the dollar. That's it. I love it. I love it. I mean, yeah, up in Canada, or the I think rubles that's like or whatever they cents. use. I think what do they, they use? use rubles. <laughs> they do. They do. They do. And they just eat potatoes. That's the yeah. Irish. Oh, yeah. No, no. They, they eat Hortons. Oh, yeah. That's all they eat. Yeah, they heard the who. Yeah. <laughs> that place is for real, man. Mm -hmm. That place is good. Huh? Tim Hortons. Yeah. Tim Hortons. Um... Great food, actually. I love Canada. I Is there anything it. else you want to say? Nothing. I have nothing else. <laughs> uh, oh, I will finish up with this. If all those words made your head spin and you're like, I don't know what he just said, then go over to my friend Mark. Mark, that was on the chat. Go to openappmarketing.com. See, his name's in it. I'm going to call him marketing. Shekels. They use shekels. Ah, shekels. I knew it. I have been corrected. Man, I need to be more cultural. Mm. Bunch of gypsies. Gypsies. Gypsies just running around up there all eating their caribou, <laughs> strangling bears with their bare hands. I'm sure that's all they do. And I, I think mean, of Mr. I mean, v, I v, I just think of him yeah, just tackling, just tackling grizzly tackling bears. Tackling grizzly bears, making rawhide shoes. Mm. Nice. <laughs> nice. He wears a pelt of the grizzly <laughs> around does. his neck. <laughs> that's how they go to work in downtown Toronto. Yeah, helps him sneak up on the <laughs> <With> Kodiaks. Barracuda <laughs> hats. 
with the tails down the back. That's nice. Muskrat hats. Yeah. They like it and up there. And they're blackberries. <laughs> All blackberry up. <laughs> All right, we got to go. That's good. All right, I'm glad. I Hopefully, we have offended everyone on planet Earth. If not, check back next time when we'll offend somebody else, I'm sure. Perfect. Um, you be applause, applause, says Marshall got shirts, Marshall. Is this helpful um, for anybody? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, never, never. It's never helpful. I enjoy it which is what's important. Go to open app marketing. Uh, not the cheapest thing, but then you don't have to do all the work. Uh, he <laughs> says that I think about $2,000. Is the starting price. About the starting price. Yeah. Uh, but he'll make you a kick-ass app. There you go. All right, everybody. You rock, you rock, you rock. Me? You, especially oh, you. So you rock. Because oh, well, sage, we all rock. Sage rock. Ah. Okay, everybody. Have a great week. Come back next time. And they live in igloos. I knew it. Just, With their muskrat hats. Just play the song. All right, y'all. Peace out. See ya. The story just straight up lie because she only has 397,000. Oh, wow. What the hell is That's that? Pretty <laughs> weak. I mean, what is that? I'm thinking that you can get the 397,000. Wait. Have they all heard? What's going on? Oh, wait. Wait. <laughs> Stop. Stop everything. Where are we talking? Wait, you can't leave yet. What's no one happening? leave. Wait a second. Damn it. Oh. Oh my God. We've been listening to ourselves the whole time. Have they? Okay. Wait, I hope not. I turned oh. down the sound. All right. Now, take two on the ending of the show. All right, everybody. You rock, you rock, you all rock, and especially you in Canada, you rock. See you all later. That's better. <laughs> I don't know how to turn this crap off. Oh, yeah, I that. Just push the button.